Hey guys, so we're doing a follow-up video to the first play box of the year. I uh, got to try everything out, give it a good shot, and I'm ready to give some thoughts, some first impressions. So our first product. All right, the first product was the Stay Glace Right Beauty Matte Cream Lip Crayon in Glossé. And that's this guy right here. I am wearing it today. I'm getting framed. So, this smells, because it has orange peel in it, it, <laughs> it smells, smells good. <laughs> really good. It reminds me kind of of the chocolate oranges that you get around Christmas. Oh, yeah. Which is like an awesome, you know, she's like, nostalgia feeling. She's like, she's like, this smells. I'm like, she, good. It smells good. So, I really, really like this. I feel like it wore very well. I've worn this to uh, my office job quite a few days, and I felt like it wasn't too much. I felt like the consistency is great. Even reapplying it after I ate lunch, it didn't get weird or have those crumbly bits or crusty bits that sometimes you get. It is very moisturizing. It's just, it feels great. It doesn't feel heavy on your lips, so I'm really happy about this. I'm very much considering buying this in full size, so... This is a winner, for sure. I also really like the color. All right, next is uh, Lanier Water Sleeping Mask. The little blue disc thing. Okay. So that's this guy right here. So I, typically with my skincare, I will obviously wash my face. Then I'll tone. Then I'll put a serum on, uh, a cream, and then a night mask if I'm using one. So with this, I tried it both with just my serum, and I also tried it with my moisturizer, which is a vitamin C cream, this on top. I felt like it did really well. A little does go a very long way, which I was happy about. Um, did it do anything remarkable? It didn't in the amount of time that I used it, but I did really like you know, how soft my skin was, how it looked nice and moisturized and even after I washed it off in the morning, I still, you know, didn't have that tight feeling. It felt really good. So this was also really nice. I would like to have used this longer, but it's a tiny, tiny little sample size, and I like to go hard. <laughs> Next is the Sunday Riley Good Jeans All-in-One Lactic Acid Treatment. Oh, my God. I'm buying this. This is so good. It's probably extremely expensive. It's a little pricey, but you want to spend your money on your skincare because that's the basis of everything, as I feel like I've said a thousand times. This is also one of those, a little does go a long way. I actually still have some left in here, and I was using it morning and night, the days that I wasn't using this guy, because you're not really supposed to use a sleeping pack every night. So this, this is so amazing. My skin felt so soft. I feel like if I had better vision, I could tell if it did anything, you know, changing the fine lines or anything like that, but I really can't see right now. But just based on how great my skin felt and thinking how great my skin could feel with the continued use of this, I am definitely buying this. Very, very, very happy. The next is the hockey puck. The hockey puck. All right, this is uh, the Beauty Blender charcoal infused soap so for your makeup brushes i was not excited to wash my makeup brushes i washed a foundation brush and a powder butt bleh, powder <laughs> butt a powder butt that were like packed full of product and it didn't take like 90,000 times of swirling it to get everything out which i was really impressed by everything got really really clean it doesn't have a weird smell the only problem I had was that I left this on the counter in the bathroom. Maybe I should have found like a soap dish that it could dry out in. And it kind of got stuck to the counter, which I panicked for a good 30 seconds trying to not break it, getting it off. You didn't tell me this. Well, I, I just happened. But I wonder if this in full size would maybe be in a container because it was a little awkward trying to hold it and swirl the brush on it and then it's all slippery and then what do you do when it gets down to that tiny little sliver size you throw it away you know you're not getting the full use out of the product i would love this formula 
in a liquid form, if that's available, I would definitely be into that. It was, it wasn't bad. I liked it. I just thinking in the future, if you wear it down to a certain point, how much are you really going to get out of it? Maybe the larger size is actually like the size of a hockey puck and you just swirl your brushes on the top of it. I was thinking maybe it would be in like, um, those containers like your pomade comes in. Mm -hmm. If it was in something like that, I could totally work with that. So I will look into that. I do like that. Next thing is the Living Proof Restore Perfecting Spray. So I tested this out on nice, clean, damp hair. And I feel like it did make my hair soft. You felt it. It, it had a so nice, soft. yeah, it had a nice fragrance. Oh, so very soft. I just don't feel like this is something extraordinary that I don't already own. So I don't think I would go out and buy it, but it was nice to try it out. I'm always down to try new hair products. So it was aight. Next, or actually last, is the OEA. Way. It is O U A I. Mm hmm. It's Way. O E A I. Um, this is the repair shampoo and conditioner. Which, obviously, I'm pretty sure the larger sizes don't come in, like, bigger packets. I hate these packets so much because they're so hard to maneuver. I just died in the shower because, because of one of those. you're trying to rip it open and your hands are wet. And then you're trying to, like, slide your fingers down and get, you know, everything at the same time. And you don't want to drop it because then you're not going to have enough. I was surprised with the shampoo that a little did go a long way, but that's to say with every professional shampoo and conditioner, you're not going to use as much as like, say a pharmacy brand because it is more concentrated and generally a better product. The shampoo smelled like a really rich old woman, <clears throat> overpowering. That is actually incredibly accurate. Yeah. Like the, the sudsing was great. And that was nice, and then the smell hit me, and you know when you're in the shower and there's steam and you're just like, oh, that's a lot. The conditioner, I did, I felt like I didn't get enough conditioner. I have really long hair. But I let it air dry just to see, you know, how everything would be. I didn't put any products in it. And it's not any different than a lot of the professional shampoos I already use. I feel like there was supposed to be a... A special smart something ingredient in here for damage. Oh my god, yeah. That we the were making smart fun sense of. technology, yeah. I think it was. I did not sense any smart, smart sense. technology complex. Yeah. My hair didn't feel any smarter, and I felt like <clears throat> I get the same results with a lot of the stuff I use now. I really like Amika. I love Sebastian. You know. Little Sebastian? Yeah. Was it mini Parks horse? and Rec. <laughs> But uh, I think that they should start giving the samples of shampoo and conditioner in, like, the travel size bottles. That because would be better. Because a lot more people would get the entire product out. It would be less frustrating. You know, I had to ask him, like, 50 times which one was actually the shampoo, which one was the conditioner. Because they look completely the same, and my sight is really bad I literally right had to put them, I was like... Shampoo is in the left, conditioner is in the right. Yeah. Go take a shower. I mean, once they were out, I could tell what they were, but at that point, if you're opening the conditioner in the rippy crap packet, you can't put it back in. So. True. Yep. Shampoo is kind of a flop. Conditioner is kind of a flop. The smells, like this, uh, it was very strong. And I just, unless it's like a fruity smell. <laughs> I imagine smell. That, that's what the women's shower room of like a high-end country club smells like. Yeah. You play some golf, you take a shower, you use this stuff. Some tennis. I'm sure they can afford much bigger bottles. You have to be fit for tennis later. Yeah. So, I mean, most of the products I'm super, super happy with. I'm so glad that I finally got to test out some Sunday Riley good jeans. I cannot wait to try that out more. The lip crayon was amazing. Very happy with that. I'm going to look into the makeup brush cleaner, see if there's a different size or maybe a different formula that would be a little bit better for me. But overall, pretty pleased with everything. My skin's... My hair smells like old rich women. So anyways, what did you think about the stuff you got in your play box? Did you get any of the same stuff? Let me know down below. 
What stuff would you repurchase? What would you never touch again? If you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Hit the like button if you did enjoy the video. Again, leave me a comment and hit the bell for all notifications of my further uploads and live streams. You can also find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews and Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. And I think that wraps it up for this one. Yeah, I mean, we'll have a social media page after this, a little 20 second yep. how to follow everybody with other videos and stuff on it, thanks to my ingenious editing. Mm -hmm. I'm very proud of myself. He's very so, proud. So, uh, yeah, I guess, I guess that's it. You know, you don't want to smell like old rich white women. <laughs> or if you do, do you, boo. That's fine. <laughs> All right, bye, guys. Bye.